Now this one looks a little different, guys. What do you think? Hey guys, David at Twice Diecast. I uh, thought we'd do something a little bit different. I am preparing for our huge International Day of Giving that Diecast Breakdown is putting together. You'll hear more about that on the show. And I thought today we would just do an unboxing. I've got a full E-case. I believe this is the one with the Super that is the Corvette, the C8. I'm not sure. Uh, but I wanted to get some donations for the upcoming drive later this year. You'll hear more about that on Diecast Breakdown. So please follow that over on Diecast Media Network. Um, on this previous episode of Diecast Breakdown, as a matter of fact, we interviewed champion DJK. So in honor of him, I'm going to turn this camera around and let's get to cracking this e-case. Okay, so I hope you got that reference. Dave at Champion DJK on his 10 car Tuesdays starts off talking to the camera and then says, all right, let's turn around the camera and look at some cars. So that's what we will do. Like I said, uh, this is an E case. I know these have been in the stores for a while. We're just looking at it mainly, see if we get a super and also to see what cars we are gonna donate later. Um, with our big toy drive at the end of the year, hopefully around the holidays. So I hope you guys will be a part of that. We're not asking you to send any cars in. We just would really would rather everybody just go out, donate cars to needy kids or whoever, and um, find an organization close to you and do it there. So we'll just look at an e-case and just see what we pull today. First up, Really cool, dark racing green 01 Integra GSR. I'm gonna do this also as a tribute to Lamley and put the winners on one side and the duds on the other and the Dav Ansonator might fall into the category of a dud. Usually I'm not big on um, fantasy castings. It says special feature on the back. What is the special feature? Uh, I don't know. Okay. All right. Up next. Oh, okay. The AE86, the Trano in red. That's really nice. Love how they retooled that casting not too long ago. We have got the Nash. I believe this was a customized vehicle that somebody had the real version in real life. And I might be way off. Count Muscula. Pretty cool wheels on that. Those would be pretty useful in a wheel swap. Lolux. Pretty neat fantasy casting. Yeah, I don't mind that one at all. Still going in the dud pile for me. All fantasy castings are probably going to go in the dud pile for me. All right, Mad Manga. Looking good in the Hot Wheels team livery. 71 Dodge Charger. If you've got orange glass, you're going in the dud pile for me. Chrome interior gets you some bumpers and all that. Here is the custom Ford Bronco. Baja Blazer B, the muddy tires. I think I see one that people have been clamoring for. Here is one, I think Rob at Scale Enthusiasm was talking about this one today. I'm gonna pull this one out to the side for him. Super Silhouette Nissan Silvia S15. Lensed tail lamps, part of the glass lensed headlamps. Sweet, I'm gonna pull that out for Rob. Went hunting with him today uh, in Coleman at Diecast Extreme and a couple other places. Had a blast, you'll see those videos on both of our channels soon. Here's a really nice 70 Chevelle SS Wagon. I do like this one. That's pretty sharp. We'll put that over here in the bangers. Toyota Land Cruiser, muddy tires. Such a cool casting. It's gonna be hard to ever put that one in the dud pile. Although they tried with those dirty wheels. Not a fan of that. 
And I just probably sound like an old grumpy guy at this point. All right, here's a bone shaker. And it is looking good. Put that one over there. A lot of people like bone shakers. What is this? Fusion Busta. Aero disc wheels. Metal base. Kind of nice to get these days. And another Dav Ansonator. I wonder what the story is behind this. If anybody wants to put that in the comments, I bet that thing's pretty fast on the track, but if anybody wants to tell me where that car came from, I'd be really curious. All right, this is a kind of a cool one. Tuned 83 Chevy Silverado. They did it well. You know, I've never collected tuned vehicles, but that one's pretty, pretty cool. All right, here is the E-Class in red. Full tempo front and rear detail on that. Look at that grill looking good. Can't fault them for that one. That is a hit for sure. Fast and Furious Spy Racers Baja Crawler. They're trying to make these appealing. Getting close. Getting close indeed. Good looking vehicle. Uh, all right. Oh, good. See one I like already. Here is the Ford F-150 with the Goodyear livery. Boy, you get paint front rear. I mean, it seems like four or five tampo passes on that one. Coupe clip. You guys haven't seen it. Uh, took forever to find one for my son. He loves it. That's what he has on his keychain. Pretty cool idea by Hot Wheels. Got to give him that. Uh, Glory Chaser. Looks like a, I believe this is a fantasy casting, but it is heavily influenced by a lot of those racers from the 60s. Look at that interior. They really did well on that. You get a stick shift in there. Retro Racers. Got like a Lotus front end. Got a tuned Batmobile. And I don't know why I say tuned that weirdly. Sure enough though, that's, that's a pretty cool one. Uh, that will definitely make some kids stay. 69 Copo Corvette, red, white, and blue. Race livery. We'll put that one over here. Always gonna give a Corvette benefit of the doubt. Pretty sweet looking. RX-7 in the blue, that's kind of, I don't know, is that a nod to the old Mazda race livery with the blue, different color blue stripes? It's gotta be, right? Good looking car. Put that one over there. Looks like another Batmobile coming up. There you go. That one goes to a kid somewhere down the road as does the Cosmic Coupe. Looks like this one glows in the dark. Not sure about that, but it sure looks like it does. Metal base on that. Hmm. And the wheelie chair. Can't look too long through a Hot Wheels case without finding a wheelie chair. Props to them for putting that in there. Ooh, I see one that people like. Coming up, we've got another RX-7. Stick that over here. But how about the S2000 in the clean yellow? Look at that. Looks like a Ryu tribute. I know you've got Ryu's rides. I asked Matchbox Man. That looks like a track, but I think it looks like RA, like his initials. What do y'all think? Is that a real track or is that an RA? Let me know in the comments if you know. We'll definitely put that one over here. And the USS Enterprise from the Screen Time series. That's a cool one. All right, keep on trucking. Doesn't look like we're gonna have a super on this side of the package. 
69 Chevy pickup, Art Deco. Art cars, there's your T for the Hot Wheels. Ducati Scrambler Hot Wheels Edition. And the Wild 91 Mazda MX-5, another Ryu ride. Wild wheel choice on that. You know what, I'll, I'll stick that over here. Not a huge fan of the paint scheme on that one, but I'm probably too old to appreciate it. I'm sure it's like a real thing somewhere. Draft Nader with some God awful wheels on it. I don't even, yeah, there we go. This is the treasure hunt for this case, the regular treasure hunt. See that flame logo in there? So we'll pull that out to the side. Can't really cast aside a treasure hunt, can we? Lethal Diesel, really cool fantasy casting here from the Rescue series. Lolux, another one of those. I don't know, have we already seen that? I don't think we have. And that is half of them, so let's take a look at the next half. And I see maybe a Corvette, but I don't know if it's just super just quite yet. Doesn't look like it is. All right, Rajan, Rajan Express. Pretty sure, yeah, this is a Ryu casting. Really cool. That'll make some kids day right there. Turtle shell, turtle shell. That'll definitely be a hit with some kids. And I'm a kid, but I don't, I'm not feeling that one. Here is your previous Super Treasure Hunt vehicle. Not the actual Super Treasure Hunt, of course, but I believe this was the D case Super Treasure Hunt. 63 Studebaker. Yeah, let's stick this over here. That's a, kind of a cool one. Kick cart. Not sure what that is. Looks like just a pretty heavily modified go kart. Air eruption. Seen plenty of those hanging on pegs nowadays. Here's another F 150 in the Goodyear. Another, the Nash. Another Baja Crawler. A Perfect Speed Street Beast line. Okay. Whatever. And let's see if we just got the regular cut. Yep, looks like we got the regular Corvette C8. This is not the Super. But beautiful car nonetheless. Toyota Land Cruiser 80. Seen that one. And here is the same low looks that we saw earlier. Now this one looks a little different, guys. What do you think? Looks like we got the Super after all. Here is your E-Case Super Treasure Hunt. Corvette, 2020 Corvette C8. Look at the difference. Saw the headlights peeking through on, as I was going through the others right before this. You can see it is a shade darker. Now, I will be upfront and telling and tell you, I'm gonna pull this out, I'm not gonna donate this. We'll do something with it on the channel or maybe on Diecast Breakdown. But here is your EK Super Treasure Hunt. And I promise you guys, um, I don't go through these things beforehand. Every time we do an unboxing on Twice Diecast, it seems like we pull a Super Treasure Hunt. I am very, very thankful and just happy that it makes some interesting videos for you guys. 
I'm not the biggest collector of them. Uh, Donut Drifter is up next, but they are really cool. And even me as someone who does not collect super treasure hunts, did I get pumped up seeing that? Heck yeah, I did. It's just a really cool dopamine hit when you pull that out. Hyper Rocker. So with that said, you know, you can't condone behavior to crack open stuff on pallets or doing shady stuff, but you can kind of understand why people do it. Here is Cockney Cab 2, rocking the Union Jack loud and proud for crown and country and all that. Another J Import Integra. Nice black recolor of the F1. Well done on the lamps on this one. And look at that rear end. You know, his castings were just so good. He's missed so much. And, uh, just brought such a realism to a lot of these castings. Another one of the custom Ford Broncos. Everything seems kind of anticlimactic at this point. Not gonna lie. Count Muscula, but these cars are all going to a worthy cause and I know you guys enjoy just seeing the variety that is in the mix and Hot Wheels, you know, for what they give us, for the price they give us, there really is something for everybody. So, you, I mean, you just can't dispute that. Every type of collector has a chance of getting something they like in these boxes. Ain't fair, bus for you. Copo Corvette, red, white, and blue. And another tuned Batmobile. Hyperfin from the Fast and Furious Spy Racers. It's a cool car. I mean, somebody really designed it well. And I guess you could say the same for the Donut Drifter. It's got Quirky Garage 1999's favorite wheels on it, the Aero Disc. I wonder if he has a set of these pink Aero Disc wheels. Let's go, let's go indeed. Let's go to the next car because I'm not a fan of this one. Looks like a lot trucker. What a lay. We got La Trucker in La Casa. Pretty nice looking vehicle. Can't lie. I have no idea what I'm talking about with the car scene out in on the West Coast, but I mean you can't deny that's Pretty awesome looking. Yeah, you know, I'm not usually a custom car guy, but that goes into the pile. Rapid Nismo approves of the Leaf Nismo, I hope. What do you reckon, Mr. Nismo? Let's crack on. Another tuned Silverado. And we're down to about six left. A couple of good ones looking like perfect speed is not one of them. But this one is. Here's the Valhalla concept that is in the No Time to Die premium release from Hot Wheels. Looks like the same exact car with plastic wheels. Look how they built the lamp detail into the, I think they built that into the actual casting. Looks like LED lights on it. Definitely a keeper. And we got another one of the Nissan Silvias, Super Silhouette, Liberty Walks. Last three. Another Glory Chaser. We've got the 83 Chevy Silverado. That's pretty cool. Like that one. Like that a lot. Last but not least, we got the Big Air Bill Air. And that is our E-Case, ladies and gentlemen. 
almost all of these are going to the donate pile for the upcoming end of the year diecast day of giving brought to you by diecast breakdown sponsored by diecast breakdown i don't know what you want to call it put together by diecast breakdown you guys are going to be the one doing all the heavy lifting on it by donating cards locally wherever you're at and sending us either photos or videos so that we can put it in an episode of diecast breakdown in the future and um great day over here got a super treasure hunt this is david at twice diecast i hope you guys enjoyed this video take care i'll see you on the next one